A story now you will only see on News Channel 8. Their son nearly killed in an accident with a Pinellas County deputy. Now a St. Petersburg family is opening up about this tragedy for the very first time. Surveillance video caught the moment his life changed forever. He was riding his motorcycle home from work on a dinner break, having no idea that in the next few seconds he'd endure a horrible, life-altering impact. Paul Mueller spoke with the family and joins us now live from Bayfront in St. Petersburg. And Paul, I can't even begin to imagine all that this family is going through right now. You know, Jen, so much pain and such an emotional interview here today. Their only son here at Bayfront tonight. Doctors say he will be paralyzed for life and no one knows for sure just how long he's going to be here. 20-year-old Eli Uliberry in the prime of his young life. Kayaking, mountain biking, anything to do with the outdoors. That is until the accident. The doctor came in and he said, um... <sighs> Your son is never going to walk again. <laughs> the crash caught on camera, showing up in Ellis County Sheriff's Corporal Joe Miner pulls out into the middle of MLK. Eli, with no time to come to a complete stop, rushed to Bayfront and ever since the family at his bedside. I love you. And we'll get through this. And you can see him want to start crying his mother remembering that fateful morning well eli calling her saying let's go for a walk um, i didn't know that could be the last time we might be walking together since then the sheriff's office has taken full responsibility offering the family the maximum liability two hundred thousand dollars not enough though to take care of eli for the rest of his life but when it comes down to it I have to protect what's right for my son. His youngest sister always standing behind Eli and his dream of being an elite soldier. It's all he wanted to do was serve his country. <laughs> and I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna break his heart that he can't. The deputy, do you ever think you could forgive him? Um, that's why I'm able to say I don't want him to live with that burden. For now, the family is there to support Eli and each other. That's in God's hand and in Eli's hands. And Eli's a pretty determined kid. All right, back live here in Pinellas County tonight. The family has hired a lawyer. They have not taken that check from the sheriff, but the sheriff telling me tonight that he will do whatever it takes to help them out. Meantime, we put some information on our website. If you'd like to help with medical expenses, WFLA.com. Jen. A remarkable family, and we certainly appreciate them sharing their story with us in the time of incredible grief right now. Paul Mueller, live in St. Petersburg. Thank you.